My name is Taylor Jones, and this is my story. So for 2020, uh, Heart for the House, I was believing for um, relationship, um, deepening of relationship, both with friends um, and then specifically just um, my relationship with Jesus. Um, and within that, I was really believing for an increased level of maturity and obedience um, for my my relationship with Jesus. Um, I felt like I was kind of a, a new place. It was only my second heart for the house. Um, I had kind of taken care of a lot of the physical needs, the physical requirements in that first heart for the house and felt called to really lean into the relationship side of um, what the Lord had for me. Um, so just maturity, obedience, boldness to follow, to lead um, when I hear the voice of God. Um, and then the one, the one natural thing would be uh, I was believing for a promotion at work. Um, I believed that I was at a position that um, was the job before the job, if that makes sense. And I was believing that that was going to change within the year. Yeah, so I, I definitely prayed about it a lot. Um, like I said, Heart for the House in 2019 was was my first heart for the house. Um, I had some pretty big asks on there, um, just in terms of believing for a, a job, a new place to live, a car, all of those things came to pass. And so I got to Heart for the House 2020 and um, was really feeling convicted that I have everything I need, so what now? Um, what can I be believing for in a big way? Um, for God, from God um, in, in the year 2020. So I found a verse from one of the, the messages um, in March of last year, um, 1 Samuel 15, 22. Um, it says, but Samuel replied, what is more pleasing to the Lord, your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice? Um, and so that was a big driving factor for me um, to lean into obedience to God this year, not to um, get distracted by by the blessings, but to keep focusing on the person of Jesus. Um, yeah, so we did Heart for the House, and um, the first thing I was believing for was um, increased relationship, um, again, both with Jesus and with people. Um, and within a couple of weeks, a friend from college who I haven't talked to in a decade um, Skyped me from Germany, um, where he's stationed for the Army. Um, an old friend and a super good, um, positive influence on my life, and so I was able to immediately see the fruit um, uh, of God, um, you know, fulfilling his, his promise to me. Um, and I've had two other friends, both who I haven't talked to in over a decade, um, reach out uh, over the year. Um, and the, one of the, the coolest um, things that happened this year was I had what I would call a breakthrough moment with my parents. Um, and it's actually super hard um, and super uncomfortable, but um, as a result of being obedient to what I was hearing God telling me in having this conversation with them, um, we're now much closer and much more open um, and honest with each other, and it was um, super cool. So, uh, yeah, this year, um, it's it's just been obedience has been the, the root of that, um, that leadership piece. Um, just going where I feel the voice of God calling me to go. So, um, for instance, I started serving on youth this, this year, um, which is something I never thought I would be doing, uh, but something I felt called to do because that's uh, where I lost my way, I would say, is in that age group. And so I felt called to, to go serve there. Um, I started to help with um, the men's ministry, um, helped plan man camp and plan the brotherhood event we have coming up this week and those were all just simple steps of obedience of an opportunity being presented and saying yes and being bold even though I have no training to do those things I have no qualifications to do those things just saying yes because I hear um, God calling me that way so um, that was the last thing on the envelope because it was the the hardest one to write down honestly because um, kind of felt guilty about putting um, promotion on a Heart for the House envelope the year after I had gotten the job I prayed about um, on the previous Heart for the House envelope. Um, but I, I got into that position I had prayed, prayed for and I could just tell that it was the, um, just the start of the path 
um, for me there. And um, so as we moved through 2020, um, just continued to, to work hard and um, got offered several opportunities, um, but I just knew they weren't the ones um, from God. And then um, this couple months ago, uh, applied for and, and got a promotion to another agency um, where I'm already now having the opportunity to uh, move forward and pursue uh, another promotion there. So, um, yeah, it's almost like, oh, I don't want to come and, and talk about this because I don't have big asks on my envelope from 2020, I feel like, you know what I mean? Like 2019, I, asked, I pray, was praying for a car, got a car. I was praying for a new place to live, got a new place to live. I was praying for a job, got a job. Like, awesome. Like, what am I praying for in 2020? Obedience and relationship. Well, that's not very flashy, but ultimately, isn't that what matters? This relationship with Jesus. So for Heart for the House 2020, I, um, I'm sorry. So we're talking about 2020, right? That's what you want? Okay, because 2019 was a different year. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we're talking about 2020. Okay, sorry. You're okay. I'm supernatural. So this is great. You're doing great. Okay, nice. get some finger guns in there for the end, for the edit. 